Today we're doing magnet fishing at a place where many robots drowned. There's something very catchy! Is that a robot's head? I'm going to find all the parts and assemble it. Alright, hello everybody, it's me Danny and today we're doing magnet fishing at a very interesting place. So, some people say there was a hidden factory that produced humanoid robots somewhere here. Some people say that somebody has just dumped some parts, metal parts into this water that looked like robot parts. And others say, well, there was a fight between robots and somebody else. Uh, which I don't really believe though. But anyway, today we are here to find out the truth about this place and let us see what we can find with our magnet. Okay, I see something and I feel it on my magnet. What is that? Uh, this thing is heavy. Oh. Oh. Ah. This thing is very heavy. Oh, what? What is that? Uh, I mean, I don't really know what part it is, but you can let us know in the comments if you have any ideas. Whew, this thing. Oh, sounds like metal. For now, I don't really know what this thing is. It may be connected to the robots. All right, ready with the next throw. I've always been a fan of like such movies as Transformers and so on. So it would be pretty fascinating to find something. It's very heavy. There's something. I feel it already. Jeez, what is that? <sighs> Need to take the magnet off. thing is it heavy one two three what is that looks like another part of that kind of a robot but but I don't really know um, Maybe if I... Oh! I just got it off! And there are some wires, take a look. They are all kind of still intact. They are not damaged at all. Interesting, very interesting. Can I put it back now? Oh! <laughs> interesting, almost like magic. Whew. That's That's just the second find. But I'm tired as hell already. Those things are heavy indeed. And we are ready with the next throw. So guys, also let us know in the comments, what is your favorite movie or a cartoon about robots? Or Transformers maybe? Well, mine is definitely the first part of the Transformers movie, the original trilogy, I'm saying. Uh, with Shia LaBeouf and... Uh, what was that Megan name? Fox. Megan Fox. Yeah, thank you cameraman. Yeah, that was unbelievable. So, write your favorite movies about the robots in the comments. We will check it out. It's very interesting for us. Okay, nothing so far. <sighs> Again, those parts are so heavy. I see something is coming. Ah. It's a hell of a find. There's some metal part in it. I bet this thing is heavy as well. Let me. 
This, I don't understand what it looks like. Maybe, uh, maybe like this. Oh, my, ah, uh, it's heavy. Maybe it was like this. Maybe that's an elbow part of a robot. But we don't know for sure. That's why we need to keep trying to find something else. Who knows, maybe we'll be able to find the whole robot. Okay, let's find something else. You know, actually, it would have been great if I had my own robot. I mean, he would go to work instead of me, so probably you would see videos of robot doing magnet fishing, but that could have been difficult for him to stick with the magnet because he would, and well, you know, he would clean my flat, cook for me, something else maybe. And guys, let us know, what would you do if you had your personal robot? What would you use that for? And with that, uh, with that being said, I feel something getting close. All right. Now I'll take the magnet of this thing. One, two, three. One moment. One, two, two and a half, three. There's so much water. Is that a head? Looks like head. Well, yeah, that's definitely a head part of that robot. <laughs> Jeez, I did not believe that was a real robot. But here we are looking at its head. No, I cannot, I cannot. Just need to put it down. We found the elbow part. We found the thigh part as well. And now the head means we need to keep going. There are still many parts to find. Let's continue our fishing and for the super throw. That's good that I didn't throw the magnet forward because uh, otherwise cameraman would be severely injured. All right, let's continue. Nothing so far. I heard the click of the metal. Okay. Let's. This thing was so heavy that I needed to ask the cameraman to help. Jeez. Ah. Ah, got it. That looks like that looks like a torso of the robot. Like, yeah, these are so shoulders. They're heavy. Uh, let me try it to pick it. Uh, oh, yeah, no, 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 cameraman, I need your help. I need your help. We need to take it, take it somewhere. A bit, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. So for the next half an hour, I was throwing and throwing non-stop in order to find all the parts that remain in the water. And it seems to me that I got very lucky today because, well, it feels like I've gotten all the parts that robot needs well yeah take a look for yourself all of the parts of the robot are now taking from the water i'm sorry i'm just tired well, uh, we finally managed to put all the parts into the trunk of our car and we're heading to our base 
where we will try to assemble it. So, we brought a robot to our place and right now our mechanic, our engineer Ivan, is trying to assemble it. But it's going to be easy for him because at his time, like some years ago, he was assembling rockets and huge cargo ships and, well, he's a good engineer. So, I have my trust in him. So, I think it's going to be very easy for him. Okay, let's, let's come a little bit closer. Let's take a look at what he's doing. Security check. <sighs> Analyzing the environment. Errors count. One million. Where am I? What year is this? It's alive! 